Ever since we talked about the Battle of Cassiopeia, I can't get what happened out of my mind. Don't have time to talk to this back now. I told you it wasn't your fault. I can tell it's still bothering you. Yeah. Was it that obvious? Oh, I thought I could handle these memories, but until I return to Cassiopeia, I'll never be able to put this to rest. Um, let's, let's help her. Obviously. I would like that. Actually, I need that. One problem, though. Pinpointing the crew's shuttle wreckage is going to be like trying to find a grain of salt in a sandbox. I think we need to start by locating my old campsite on Cassiopeia 1. If they had taken your shuttle, no, I'm not going to say that. What eventually happened to the Dauntless? Shortly after I evacuated, I saw the ship come apart. The UC listed it as lost, so I assume the Dauntless was completely destroyed. The Dauntless took heavy fire to the docking section during the battle. We had three shuttles. One was destroyed, and the other two were damaged. There was no other way off the ship. Lucky you made it safely. Lucky? <sighs> Compared to my crew, I hit the goddamn jackpot. Still, oh, I'll never forget my finger hovering over that launch button. Would I launch safely or explode into a fireball? It turned out that my shuttle had just enough power to allow an emergency landing on the planet's surface. Impressive that you saw flooded after an emergency jettison that's that close to the ex exosphere? I wouldn't call what I did a soft landing, but thank you all the same. Alright. We need to get back there to face your demons. I'll say of course, yeah. Hold on. I don't know the exact location of my survival campsite. For that, we are going to have to head to Mast and see if we can get the information from my old friend, Admiral Logan. Sensing some tension there, yeah. Your instincts are right on target. Logan and I butted heads more than once during my time with the Navigator Corps. We've never seen eye to eye. Look, I hope this isn't asking too much. Last thing I want to do is drag you into some kind of personal crusade. Members of Constellation stick together. Your well-being is important to me. Yeah. That's why I'm desperate for your help. Truth is, I'm scared. When I set foot on Cassiopeia, I don't know if I'll be able to handle what I find. If I begin to fall apart, I need someone I can trust to hold me together. What are you expecting to find? Besides bad memories? I don't know. I'm trying not to think about it. Not yet. I have your back. I know you will. You've always been there when I've needed your help. Why you continue to support me, I'll never understand. Oh, that's sweet. I... I don't know what to say. Oh, I, I've been so busy searching the stars for answers. I've overlooked what's been in front of me all this time. True love. Something I've seriously considered sharing with you for a long time. Just... not ready. Not yet. been critical of yourself for far too long, Sarah. You're right. I have. Hey, um, anyway, I've taken up enough of your time. I know you have a lot to do. I really appreciate your offer to visit Cassiopeia. Hopefully, it'll bring me the closure that I've needed for far too long. Hey, there you go. You think I think... Alright, doing this side quest for Sarah. Sorry for that cut. I had to, you know, do a lot of editing. 
think I'm starting to finally get used to this game. It's been a long time since I've actually done the story in this game, so I'm kind of worried that <laughs> I'm not going to be able to uh, get back to it. I don't know. I, this feels like I, there's so much to do, but I don't want to just stop in the middle of a quest just to do a side mission and go right back. Rather just finish up what I have now, not take on anything else, and just do a whole batch of videos. I have to say, my gear set's actually looking pretty good. Quite proud of myself so far. If you don't mind, I'd like to speak to Admiral Logan sooner rather than later. Will do. We're going there now. After I actually finish with Sarah, I think I'll probably switch over to Baird. I don't know. I'm. I know there's other side quest characters you can actually do. I'm just kind of more focused on my ship and making sure that's, you know, straight. Part of me is uh, kind of worried that I'm not going to be prepared. <laughs> but I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I want to take a quick look around my ship before I leave and I want to make sure that... I'm joining the ranks of the Vanguard. Oh, thank you. And uh, just making sure everything's good. Ship combat's kind of worrying me. I know it's a big part of the game, so I can't just not say anything. Oh. That was a room we can go into. Is this standing outside the office looking out the window? Really? Sarah Morgan. It's been, what, almost ten years? Admiral, it's, uh, good to see you again, sir. You're not required to address me as sir. That protocol ended the moment you dropped your clusters on my desk, remember? Look, Admiral, I'm not here to open old wounds. Old wounds is an interesting turn of phrase, given our past. Listen to me, Commander. I'm not sure why you're here, but whatever it is, why don't you just get to it? I'm here because I need your help, Admiral. You need my help. That's interesting. The last time we spoke, you made it quite clear that you were turning your back on the Navy. That was a decade ago. Things change. People change. Admiral, please. I didn't come here to argue. I'm here to come to terms with my past. Your past is sitting in a closed file in the archives. That's where you left it when you walked out on the United Colonies. And what about you? Just who in the blazes are you anyway? Okay. I work with Sarah Constellation. <laughs> I see. Then, as Sarah's associate, perhaps you could kindly explain to me why I shouldn't have the both of you escorted from the building. With all due respect, Admiral. This is ridiculous. If you have a problem with me, then there's no need to berate my colleague. I don't have a problem with you, Commander. I'm simply trying to determine why you deserve the Navy's help. Sarah's here to solve a mystery that's been plaguing your conscience. Uh, let's do something of honor. That seems better. It might actually go for that. That's quite a noble gesture. Is this true, Commander? It's about Cassiopeia, Admiral. I'm heading back there to find out what happened to the crew of the Dauntless, and hopefully, to bring their legacy home. That sounds like a dangerous operation. Are you certain it's worth the risk? I... I don't know. Refuse to allow the crew of the Dauntless to remain a statistic. Let us worry about the danger, Admiral. Yeah. I understand. Mental scars left by war rarely heal quickly, if ever at all. I sympathize with your struggle, Commander. I want to put an end to the sleepless nights. The nightmares waking up in cold sweat. It's been difficult, Admiral. I understand. And I believe I owe you an apology, Commander. Our last encounter has obviously distorted my impression of your character. What can I do to help? If you wouldn't mind allowing me to access the files regarding my rescue, I'd be most grateful, Admiral. That shouldn't be too difficult. I've sent all the relevant information to you, Slades. Was there anything else? No, Admiral. 
Thank you. You don't need to thank me, Commander. I just hope you find whatever it is you're looking for. Proceed to Cassiopeia. All right, nice. And probably fast travel from the menu, can't we? Hold on. Missions, hold on. That course, perfect. I love that. It's such a great feature. Planet map. We're gonna go ahead and scan. We can actually make a pretty decent outpost here. Got everything you need. Gavix Green, ready to land. Let's talk to Sarah. I can't believe I'm here. It feels like walking into a dream. You got this, Sarah. Oh, thank you. Right now, I feel like I need all the help that I can get. Phew. Okay, so let me get my bearings for a moment. Yes. Yes, this looks correct. Those rock formations nearby look familiar. My old campsite shouldn't be far. Promise me you'll let me know if it becomes too much to handle. Uh, anything I should be worried about between here and there. Yeah, let's do this. I'll support you no matter what. Knowing that is the only reason that I'm here. <sighs> Once we get to the campsite, we'll use that as a starting point to search for the crew's shuttle wreckage. <sighs> let's go. Right, let's do it. I'm hoping that... Oh, I got my suit on. Okay. Hey, hold on a second. Uh, arrow... Space suits. Nice space suit. Okay, so no matter what, my space suit's gonna be on. Except when I'm in settled thought. Okay. I wonder what we're gonna find here. Cobalt. Hold on. Next time I get to like a shop area, I'm going to go crazy and buy a whole bunch of aluminum. Seems to be what I definitely need the most. Keep scanning. I'm sure there's something nearby. He seems friendly. Oh, there it is. Copper. Gotta talk to her? Well, this is it. This is the spot where I spent close to a year waiting for rescue. Not exactly Paradiso, is it? Can't imagine what it must have been like. How do you know what you're handling all this? Yeah? Well, inside I'm a shattered wreck. So, joke's on both of us, I suppose. Look at this thing. It's been sitting here rusting. I think we need to grab an emergency power cell to get the ship's computer up and running. <laughs> With my other suit back home, okay. And the power cell, can the cell power the entire ship? No, I'm afraid that it can't. It's only designed to power individual systems. Even if it could, my old shuttle is far too damaged to be fully restored. Sure, if we're lucky. When I was stranded, I set up a distress beacon powered by emergency power cells. The beacon was up there on the plateau. I 
guess it's time to start climbing. All right. Didn't seem too bad. Brick a board. That little couch here and everything. But she seems to be handling it well. I don't see any tears yet. Ooh, nickel, yes. I need that. Okay. Hoping you guys aren't hearing the clicking from my controller. <laughs> That's the one thing that bothers me when I'm actually, like, doing my recordings. I hate when I actually hear, like, clicking in the controller. I just, it bothers me a little bit more than I like to admit. <laughs> I guess it's just straight up here. Oh, here it is. What is that? Setting up this beacon probably saved my life. Who knows how long I would have been stranded here. Perfect. actually kind of scary because when I scanned them for the first time I was like they look like hostile creatures but they're not moving are they dead or man that was actually pretty uh <laughs> that was actually pretty scary hiding in the dark like that shit or hiding in plain sight excuse me that's a better oh, term don't tell me you're going to eat that never know I love a jump pack. Ooh. Oh no! Are you kidding me? Oh shit, it has, it has a mouth with teeth! How far is insane? Alright. You are ruining the moment. You are definitely ruining the moment. I wonder why they decide to attack now of all times. <laughs> Shit. I almost brought the shotgun out. Actually, I think I might do that. Kind of cool, All right? Uh, let's see. Oh, Sarah Morgan's personal logs. Ooh. I'm reading it silently, sorry. Hoping you guys have enough time to read it. I'm actually kind of interested in this quest. That's why I'm actually kind of taking the time to actually kind of examine all of it. 
But she still thinks her crew is alive. About what? Six days later? Okay. Just a power system. Ah, okay. Gotcha. Alright. Turn off the light real quick. We've located where the other shuttle went down. I can't believe our plan worked. We shouldn't celebrate until we confirm this location. Well, you brought the right person with you. You made this all possible. Yeah, let's do that one. Well, we're not there yet. But damn, it does feel good. Hmm. The telemetry data puts the wreckage out of range to hike. We're going to have to head back to the ship and land on a different part of the planet. Let's get going. Right, fair enough. Also, I'll flow some of this stuff. Hopefully I'm going to ambush as soon as I walk out of here. Oh, crap. Uh, hold on. Landing site locked. Take us in. All right, we are back. Sorry for that cut. Didn't think it was pertinent to, you know, be bad, so. Thank you, ship. Oxygen, nitrogen, hydrogen. It's all here. Okay, so... Oh, okay, it's 300 away. Sometimes the which one I call it only goes to like a certain amount. Might wanna. Oops. That was a whoopsie. Right, Carol Kendall. Really? I thought I bought ammo for this thing. Oh. oh. look at this view. Had I been on this planet under more pleasant circumstances, I might have had more time to appreciate the beauty of this Oh yeah, I still gotta finish that, don't I? Oh wow, look at this thing. Oh man, that looks stuff of nightmares. A little scary too. Not just not being honest. I mean, think about it. How would you feel about like, eaten by that thing? Copper, cobalt. I've been good with that actually. Oh, we gotta go over here. Ah, okay. Not really a straight path there, is it? <laughs> Hopefully this gives her closure. That's the one thing I think most people in life all want, closure. Oh boy. Valuable. Oops, my bad. I was actually listening to her dialogue, but. This would make a pretty good place for an outpost. This is what's left of the crew's shuttle. But it looks like parts were scavenged and dragged somewhere else. Could there have been survivors? Can't go in there any more than I can. Okay. Apparently there might have been survivors, but... Well, obviously they couldn't have been, because there, there was no evidence of it, right? Oh. 
Someone is here. What the fuck? Hold on. Alright, sorry for that cut, guys. I had to go back. This whole directional navigation thing is really not functional at all. But I had to find another path here. Stop! I'll, I'll shoot if I have to. Just turn around and, and leave. I know how to use this thing, and I will. Oh my god. Who are you? I'm nobody. Just go away. I'm not going to let anyone take my stuff again. No way. Both of you, just go. Easy there. I know this must be terribly frightening for you, but I promise we're only here to help. Uh, hold on. Let's just de-escalate this. I don't know. You're kind of scaring me. Why should I listen to you? We can take you home. We're here to honor the crew that died on this planet, yeah. The crew? No one's been looking for that crew since before I was born. So tell me another lie. Go ahead. You were born here. Hold on. Oh my god. Your parents. Your mum and your dad. What were their names? Jenna and Elias. Why? Jenna and Elias. Private Jenna Marsh and Corporal Elias Oberst. You're their... daughter. Listen to me. I knew your parents. They worked with me on the Dauntless. I'm Commander Sarah Morgan. You're Sarah Morgan? Mom and Dad's captain? My parents used to talk about you all the time. It's like a dream to finally meet you. If your parents are around, I'd love to meet them. What'd your parents tell you about Sarah? My parents told me she was in command of their ship in a huge battle. They said she was a hero and the bravest person they ever knew. Well now, sparkling reputation, I see. I know this is Cass... Cassiopeia. I've been here since I was born. I know my mother and father were from Gemson or something like that. I bet it's like a thousand miles away. Sarah and I are glad we found you. Yeah? Well, I wish you wouldn't have taken so long. My parents are dead. My father died a long time ago. And my mother, she was killed by those, those monsters at the graveyard. It's just me here now, all by myself. Let me ask you a question. Oh, actually, I don't even know your name. Oh, yeah. My name's Sona. Sona. <laughs> what a lovely name. Sona, you mentioned a graveyard. Is that where the crew is, um, you know? Buried? Yeah. It's a bunch of stones with those necklaces like the ones my mom and dad had hanging on them. Thank you, Sona. I'm going to talk to my friend here a minute, okay? Okay, Sarah. Well now, this is definitely a twist. Phew. I don't even know where to begin. Doing great. Are you going to be all right? Yeah. I'm trying to hold it together. There's just too much coming at me all at once, you know? I'm just so relieved that you're here. There's absolutely no way I could have handled this alone. You're doing great, yeah. Am I? I feel like a nervous wreck. Oh, there's so much to process. But I don't have time to deal with it right now. If you want to help, then find that graveyard and bring me those necklaces Sona mentioned. I'm hoping they're my crew's gene tags. I don't think you should be alone. Um... I'll help that way now. Good. Just be careful. 
Sona's monsters are undoubtedly hostile lifeforms that have claimed the graveyard as their territory. Oh now. Okay, so... Oh, nice. I guess I'm going by myself. That sucks. How do I get there? Oh, okay. What is that? Oh, it's a bowl. <laughs> Wait, what is that? Oh, I. Bad. I honestly, I think the ammo types in this game are really weird. Like, I bought a whole bunch of 11 millimeter ammo and I finally look at it it's not there but 100 rounds of this too and it's not there either I don't know oh moving on I think the ammo types in this game are a little wait what is the what okay shooting What were those things? And they actually just popped out, like... I can see you. I'm a little freaked out. I think this might be a perfect opportunity for the shotgun. Except I have next to no ammo for it. Unbelievable. Can I scan those things or Load. Oh, there's a lot of there's a lot of them. Raised or running away? Oh, that's almost following me. My bad. Hold on. I just realized I'm not, I don't have any throwables equipped. That is insane. Going that. Did that actually do nothing? Did the ground shake? What the fuck? Uh, okay, so these are. Oh, here they are. Okay, there's one, two, three, uh, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. I wait. What? Um, that's not good. Oh, why waste ammo? Let's shoot him. No grenades. one yep, thought so these things are nightmare fuel 
<laughs> Think about it. It's like one of those, um, and what's that Pokemon called? It's like a cross between Sudowuda and, and what was it? It's like a sun, like, like bo blossom a little bit. <laughs> the movement is just so, like, weird. Alright, so that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. It's actually pretty easy. Then again, I got some pretty good weapons. I spent some time customizing them. I just spent some time... Oh, shit. My bad. Definitely gonna watch that O2. I actually am going to take some time before the main video and actually, like, you know, get some more customizable weapons. For the most part, I'm doing okay, I think. It'd be better, obviously. Oh, I'm almost there. I don't need fast travel. I am definitely going to keep this pistol. This is like a 100 damage plus. There's really no reason for me not to. <laughs> but I am wondering if we're going to take that kit with us now, or if Sarah's going to take care of it. I don't know. Just depends on what she wants to do, I guess. No! No, 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 no! How many times do I have to say it? I what? said I don't want to go! Leave me alone! Sona, calm down and listen to me. It's much too dangerous to stay here all by yourself, darling. I don't care. This is my home. You can't make me leave. We can't leave her here. It's not safe. She has to come back with us to Jemison. Oh, I don't know what to do. Can you talk to her? Don't worry, we'll do whatever it takes to bring her back safely. I knew I could depend on you. Now all we have to do is convince this poor girl that she's better off leaving the planet with us. I just... I don't know if I have it in me to say the right things. I can hear you talking about me. And I don't care what either of you say. I'm not going anywhere. Look, I'm clearly out of my element here and not in the right state of mind. Could you just talk to her, please? Wow, something to say, convince her to leave. Obviously, I can't let her stay. She'll die by herself. Why won't Sarah listen to me? She's worried about your safety. She feels responsible for your situation. Mom told me a thousand times that it wasn't Sarah's fault that we're... Well, that I'm stuck here. That still doesn't mean I should leave the only home I ever had. Does it? You won't be safe forever. Let's see. You won't be safe here forever. Yeah, we won't find you an even better home, yeah. Well, I've always dreamed of finding a place that's safe from the monsters. But uh, leaving mom and dad behind, it's really hard. Even though they're dead, I don't want to abandon them. Even far, even from far away, they'll always be close to your heart. Let's see. Yeah, you're right. I never thought of it that way. I'm sorry I yelled at everybody. I know you and Sarah are just trying to help. I'm going to go get my stuff and then I'll board your ship. Don't worry, I'll stay out of the way until we get, well, wherever we're going. Hey, we did it. I thought we had to persuade. Never mind. That poor girl. I hope we've made the right decision. Everything doesn't rest on your shoulders, Sarah. Yeah, she'll be fun. Oh, I do hope that's true. We're ripping Sonia from the only home she's ever known and casting her back into society. It's going to be difficult for her to adjust to the changes. Wherever she ends up, just promise me we'll check on her from time to time, please. 
I promise, yeah. Thank you. Look, um, before we leave Cassiopeia behind, I wanted to say one more thing to you. Perhaps at the Overlook we passed on the way here? I promise it won't take long. Let's go. Sure. What was going to be? This mission was actually interesting. We actually got to learn more about her backstory. I mean, her demons really haunted her for the longest time, and I really felt bad for her. Oh, Don't shit. Down. <laughs> I say that in the middle of a monologue. But, uh, yeah, I, her demons really haunted her for the longest time, and I'm glad that, you know, we're able to help her with that. Guess she's uh, gonna say something or okay look before we head back to the ship i wanted to tell you how much of an amazing gift this has been you had to push me to come out here and if i hadn't have listened to you the universe would probably have never known about that little girl I couldn't stand to see you suffer. Yeah. It's been a long journey, and I'm glad it's over. You know, this is the second time I've been on this world, and until this very moment, I never stopped to reflect at just how magnificent it was. Oh, look at this place. This is the reason I'm out here, exploring the stars. Worlds upon worlds just waiting to have their beauty discovered. Shedding this burden of my past has finally allowed me to open my eyes, wider than they've ever been opened before. And it's all because of you. Okay. Um, hoping there's much more than simple gratitude tucked away in that compliment. Oh, okay. Perhaps. I suppose we'll both have to think about that for a while now, won't we? Ah, <sighs> well, I suppose it's time to bid goodbye to Cassiopeia once again, this time under much happier circumstances. Now, let's head back to Jemison. I want to give those gene tags you gathered to Admiral Logan and figure out what we're going to do with Sona. All right, let's do it. to get this ship moving actually i keep forgetting i don't need to actually like hold on missions set course he does it automatically <laughs> you don't have to worry about it and it's so cool too plus the low times are almost non-existent so it's It's never easy, you know, making decisions that could end the lives of soldiers pledged to your cause. Welcome back. Did you find your answers? We found our answers, and we also found these gene tags. I hope you choke on them. Fuck. What was that for? That's kind of an aggressive answer. And we did it for the child that was marooned there. A child born from two of the crew that survived the crash. After her parents died, that poor girl spent years surviving on that hostile world, alone. We abandoned her, Admiral. We let her down. I'm sorry. I had no idea. How could we have possibly known? No apology necessary. Just glad this is over. Well, I mean, we need to apologize to Sonia. She was an innocent in this. Sona. Is that her name? She must be a remarkable young woman. She's extraordinary, Admiral. And I'm afraid the United Colonies let her down. You're absolutely right, Sarah. We did let her down. 
One thing that I can assure you is that the names of these men and women will never be forgotten. I'll see to it personally. Thank you, Admiral. Good luck to both of you. It's been an honor. Once we're done here, we should have a little talk with Sona. Poor thing's waiting for us at the lodge. Right, let's get this over with. I mean, I feel really bad for her. I really do. I mean, I can't imagine being like, what? I mean, she's barely like six years old and she's legitimately like, like she's had to survive so much. Those creatures did not look friendly at all. I'm guessing she must have really had a good aim to survive for that long. Or she just got really lucky. She must have been half starved, poor thing. I'm more worried about what we're gonna actually do with her because like, could she stay at the lodge or is Sarah gonna take care of her? I wonder if any or... discovery reports have come in while we were away. Uh, okay, she's upstairs. I'm guessing the lodge would be the best place for her. She seems like she'd be safe, I think. No. Oh, there she yeah? is. Yeah? Did you want to talk about something? There you are. I was wondering when you'd come and say hi to me. Hello, Sona. I see you found your way to the lodge without any trouble. Yeah, it was kind of hard, though. All these people around. Never seen so many people in my entire life. Don't worry, no one's gonna hurt you. <laughs> they sure won't. They have to catch me first. It's true. You're one of the toughest people I've ever met. So, what do you think? Do you like it here, Sona? At the lodge? Yeah, this place is huge. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. You must be like a bazillion here, Sarah. <laughs> oh, don't I wish? This place isn't mine alone. It belongs to everyone who's a part of Constellation. And I think it should belong to you too, Sona. I want you to stay here and make this your home. Whoa. Does that mean I get to go exploring with both of you? Or wait, do I get my own ship? Well, yeah, Auntie Sarah will buy you a new ship. <laughs> well, uh, Auntie Sarah can't exactly afford that right now, but she can provide you with the best exploration training in the galaxy. I understand. Oh, and don't worry, I learn real fast, so you better get ready to have another member of Constellation signing on for missions. I can't wait. Well, anyway, thanks for letting me stay here. I promise I won't let either of you down. I'm sure that you won't. Well, I think we should let Sona get settled. If you wouldn't mind, I'd like to visit the Colony War Memorial now. I want to, uh, to pay my final respects. Okay. Now, this is a pretty big mission. Oh, we would just be, I don't know, going there, saying respects and moving on, but this is actually a pretty in-depth mission. Moment. Truth be told, I'm actually just kind of biting my tongue, going through these side quests, and hopefully getting some more cash to put into my outpost. I think if I have several outposts outputting like different, like, uh, I have like one for like chlorine water, I think I'll have a mining outpost for iron and a few other rare materials. Eventually I'll hopefully have enough, like, people to put there, hopefully. I don't know, I might get rid of that annoying fan. <laughs> I don't know why I picked that perk, that is just the weirdest perk of all time. But it's, it's kind of... It's kind of interesting because they give you, he gets give you stuff from time to time. Find like 1900 uh, credits in my, whatchamacallit? Oh, she's right there. She's just taking her time. But I guess she's never really been here by herself. Look at this. All these people. 
their entire lives distilled down to names on a memorial. I wonder how close I came to being reduced to just a name. You should be proud of everything you accomplished since the war. Being remembered by a name is better than being completely forgotten. I, I think she's being too hard on herself. You're probably right. That's why I keep you around. To hold my head above water and give me a swift kick in the ass once in a while. Oh, that's sweet. And I care about you too. There's obviously some kind of a connection between us that I think we need to discuss. Just let me have another moment here, and then we can head over to the waterfall so we can talk in private. Let's go. Uh, okay. The waterfall. Where is that? Maybe because you gotta cut out certain stuff. Not that this doesn't seem relevant. I know some people just kind of show everything. That's like so much to render. It, it really is. It's way too much to render sometimes. You also gotta worry about space too. I got like four M2s and uh, got one of those fat HD, uh, whatchamacallit, and a uh, fat drive for all my when footage. things at the lodge are too much, I love coming to this spot to just sort of, I don't know, melt away for a while. Oh no. Okay. Oh, it's weird, her texture. It's lovely here, isn't it? <laughs> I've been from one end of the settled systems to the other, but this place, this exact spot, there's nowhere else like it in the galaxy. I hadn't thought of it that way. But you're absolutely right. I usually come up here to mull over some of the heated debates we have at Constellation. You'd be surprised how many decisions I've made on this very spot. Sometimes yes, and sometimes no. <laughs> I've certainly learned that you can't make everyone happy. Anyway. I didn't ask you up here to admire the scenery. I asked you up here because I wanted to talk about something very important. I know you are. Just give me a moment. I have a lot I need to say. It's about my return to Cassiopeia. What we learned about Sona has been constantly replaying in my mind. Oh, maybe it sounds crazy, but that young girl's isolation feels like a reflection of my own life. Maybe. But for how long? I've spent my life surrounded by all sorts of people. Constellation, the Navigator Corps, <laughs> hell, even the UC military. Despite that, no matter how hard I've tried to make them a part of my life, they tend to drift away and disappear. None of that is your fault. It's just bad luck. Yeah, I mean, I wish I could say both these. Are you sure? For all we know, it's in my nature to keep people at arm's length. Or worse, push them away. You deserve to be with someone who can understand your feelings. All I see is someone who's lost and needs help finding their way. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, sure. And who wants to take on that responsibility? You? Wait a moment. That's exactly what you're saying. 
isn't it? Friendship. Yeah, definitely romance. Huh. <sighs> Sorry, I am. Um, I just need a moment to gather my thoughts. I know you want to have a serious relationship. You want to become close. So, if you're willing to take that leap of faith with someone like me, then I'm ready to do the same. It's going too fast. I think that'd be a shitty thing to do. You're something truly special. You know that? You've helped me conquer my self-doubt, my confidence, hell, everything. For the first time in my life, I feel... complete. <laughs> and with you by my side, I'm convinced that feeling will last forever. You're the best thing that's happened to me in my life. I love you. Always. Hey, nice.